Alex, how would you gauge the mood of this group? Oh, it's phenomenal. We um, come in, I, I, like I said back there, come into the field every day. It's fun. I mean, it's a uh, it's a very exciting team this year. We have a lot of great guys. These new guys that came in, they're uh, they're phenomenal on and off the field. The uh, the vibe in the locker room is one that um, it's been a little while since I felt that, and uh, that makes me extremely excited. I think that makes everybody else extremely excited to um, not only get the fall underway, but uh, I, just thinking about next season, kind of the uh, what we didn't achieve last year, what we want to achieve this year. Um, I think that everybody has that mindset going into this year, and um, it's going to be a very fun team to be around to watch. I think so. I'm 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 very looking forward to the. Uh, the fall, no doubt. The vibe in the locker room. I mean, why is it better? Did it need to be better? Yeah, I, I definitely. I mean, it could all. It can always get better. Um, I think that so far this year we've had we have guys that legitimately want to win and they want to do whatever it takes to win. Whether that is to sit on the bench and cheer for them or step up into a big role that they may not have had before. And so it's just it's very fun to watch. I mean, having a year under my belt now, I can kind of be like a leader perspective in that, um, taking these younger younger guys under and kind of kind of helping them through what I went through last year at an earlier phase, which I think that's going to be crucial for some of these freshmen and JUCO guys that are coming in. With so many JUCO guys, what have you seen from them? Um, you know, they're obviously expected to kind of come in and contribute immediately. Yeah, they, um, like I said, we brought in a great group. I mean, it's a, they're a fun kids to be around. Um, I'm already just kind of picking their brains about where they came from, kind of the competition they played against, and they do the exact same with me. And I try to give them the best perspective um, of things I learned last year, and um, I feel like that's bo benefiting both of us. Um, and I can just tell that these guys are ready to get after it. I mean, they're ready. They're excited to practice every day. They're excited to get in the cage and take BP. So, I mean, it's a fun group to be around, and uh, I'm very optimistic for what's going to happen in the future. When you look back at last year, I mean, what was the learning curve like for you going to go from high school to every day starter at the NCC? Yeah, I mean, it was it's night and day. I mean, I can't I can't really think of a word to put it. Um, it's the best. It's the, obviously the best league in college baseball, and I'm coming from a school, a small school. So it's, uh, I mean, playing in front of the fans. I played in front of the the venues we were at. It was it was definitely a huge learning experience, and um, it's one that I'm extremely excited to get back in front of this year. Where do you think you can improve the most from your one year? Um, I think learning not learning a new position, but getting back over at first base and just contributing as much as I can over there. Just kind of busting it to uh, get, the, get the extra ground balls, get the extra reads over there. So it's been extremely extremely fun so far over there, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the future playing there. Trying to contribute on the mound? Some yeah, um, that, that's completely up to Coach Myers, but I've been out throwing bullpens. I feel, I feel great coming off the mound, so um, I'm really looking forward to whatever role they have me in this year. Um, the, winning a couple series last year against Texas A&M and Vandy, did that kind of give you guys confidence that you know, we had the talent here, we just got to put it all together? Yeah, I mean, no doubt. We beat the, uh, I mean, obviously the runners up, the Vanderbilt, we beat A&M down at their place, a phenomenal team and a great atmosphere. And um, that, that really goes to show that, I mean, we can beat the nation's elite. And I think that um, coming up this year, we should be in, I mean, in that group. And so uh, I think our guys know that. I think our fans know that. And so um, I think when both of those come together from both a physical and mental standpoint, we're going to be a really d dangerous team coming up this year. Coach Holbrook said the locker room last year wasn't what he was used to in a locker room. Mm -hmm. what, I guess what would you, I mean, I know it's hard to say what he thinks, but what do you think he kind of meant by that? Um, I think he's kind of coming from a leadership standpoint, having guys that will uh, go out of their way to make sure that the younger guys are kind of knowing their roles, um, keeping their heads on when we're going in front of these big crowds. And uh, I think that this year so far from what I've seen, I'm trying to do a better job of being vocal because I've, I've had that experience that a lot of guys haven't had. And I'm just trying to uh, relay that to whether it's the younger guys or the new junior college guys coming in that um, – I mean, it's gonna. It feels like it's a huge venue and it's a big deal to play in this league. But I mean, when it comes down to it, you're just playing baseball. I mean, you got to have fun. You got to do as best you can. So um, it's been it's been, it's been a great time so far. And uh, starting fall scrimmages tomorrow, I think uh, we're gonna see what we've been working for so hard this fall.